everyone, hi, my name is Pastor Charles Williams and I'm the founder and the creator of the concept known and used all over the world today as the Amber Alert here in the United States of America, Amber Alert EU throughout all of Europe and the Child Rescue Alert in other parts of the world. Hey Cherie, hey Butch, thanks for joining. Um, I know this is our second broadcast of the day, but uh, the specifics of this particular broadcast is so important and it is so critical that I felt it absolutely necessary to come back before you all. And let's spend a little time and, and talk about uh, some of these situations that create Amber Alerts. First of all, let me tell you what's going on here, okay? Um, there was an Amber Alert that was issued out of Dayton, Ohio on uh, yesterday afternoon. Um, and um, late last night, early in the morning per se. And this Amber Alert was for a nine month old, uh, nine month old Izon Reese. This is him over my shoulder here, this little nine month old Izon. And um, as Izon went missing, uh, well, first of all, let me tell you, the case has been resolved, and little nine-month-old Izon Reese, he has been found, and he has been found safe, okay? He has been found, and he has been found safe. Uh, there in Dayton, he was found about, oh, he's probably found about maybe less than 15 minutes from, um, from where he was taken. But it's the specifics of this case that are so um, disturbing. The suspect that was wanted in connection with this particular Amber Alert was a 15-year-old girl, okay? The suspect wanted in connection with this Amber Alert was a 15-year-old girl who was invited, basically invited to be a house guest there at the, um, there in their home. And while she was there as a house guest in their home, uh, she was spending the night there, 15 years old. And as she spent the night there, while others slept, she got up, she took the nine month old child and she bolted. When the rest of the family woke up uh, early uh, earlier this morning, discovered the child was not there, contacted the authorities, and the Amber Alert was issued there locally. And uh, before it could really get out, uh, before it could really get out, it was resolved. But here's the thing that is that that troubled me about this. When this 15-year-old girl was found with this child, okay, she put up a fight as though the child was hers. 15 years old. She put up, authorities say that she put up a fight as though the child was her child. Um, you know, most of this report, most of this report I was good with, but when I saw the fact that this girl was 15 years old, and then when confronted by the authorities, most people give up, but when this girl was confronted by the authorities, she didn't give up. She put up a fight as a 15-year-old with the authorities. Well, the authorities quickly subdued her, and they took our child. They took the child that was wanted in connection with the Amber Alert from her. Now, 15-year-old Takira Smith of Dayton, Ohio, is now sitting in a Dayton jail. Um probably most likely in juvenile uh, jail, juvenile lockup there in Dayton. And, um, you know, that was just really, really
really mind-boggling. So I just wanted to come in and just talk to you for a little bit. Those of y'all who are young mothers, and I know a lot of times people have, uh, you know, people, children have friends and young mothers have friends. Listen, this underscores, this underscores why you should not allow everybody access to your child. If God has gifted you to have that child, he has not gifted you to make that child, you know, custody of everybody. Okay? Robin put up stupid. I, Robin, I'll, I'll do you one better. Hashtag stupid. Okay? Uh, but it, it, it really is something that I, I, I want our young daughters and young parents to think about. You know, so, and, and here's, here, here's something else. So many people out there, I mean, would love to be able to have children. And here we have children having children and basically sharing their children with their friends. I'm going to go on the record and say this. I need you to take me very, very serious. If you continue to share your children with everybody, you run the high risk and the high likelihood of one time not finding your children and not getting your children back. You're just a share away from leaving your children with a friend while you go to the store for a pack of cigarettes and you come back and that friend and your child are gone. I know we've looked for children under that scenario. Okay? So uh, do a background check on your friends. Make sure that the person that you let up into your house is not a predator or has some type of past uh, that would that 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 would raise concern uh, concerning uh, you know concerning this. And uh, y'all, we live in a we live in a time to where a 14, 15, 16 year old child who perhaps uh, desires one day to have children and rather than go through the process of having children they'll just simply, like this girl did, just simply take somebody else's child and try to pass that child off as though it was her child. And I think the thing that, that keeps that's disconcerting about all of this to me is that this child, this 15-year-old girl who abducted this child, 15-year-old Takira Smith. Listen, I know she's a juvenile, but look, if you're 15 years old and you're you're bold and bad enough to steal a child, we're bold and bad enough to call your name, okay? I'm not gonna hide you. Okay? But um this girl, this 15-year-old girl who abducted this child right here, when she was found, this girl put up a fight with officers, okay? According to witnesses who were nearby, they said this girl was fighting for that child like it was her child. So don't know exactly what all was going on, but once again, this Amber Alert has been resolved and nine-month-old Izan, Izan Reese, who was the subject of an Amber Alert out of Dayton, Ohio, last evening and early this morning, he has been found and he has been found safe. There you see the first responders, uh, first responders. Uh, uh, rescuing little nine month old Izon. This is uh, his mother. Authorities went to 